Welcome to Letters to Rising Leaders. It's a podcast series about God, soul, love, and leadership. And I'm your host, Tom Moore. If you're joining along in my book, Letters to Rising Leaders, this is week 24, and the topic is Beyond Myself. How do we get beyond ourselves? I think it begins with an interior journey with God. And as as we begin to um, get through the stuff that we got to sort out, our wounds and our mistakes. We begin to peel things away until at our core, we begin to see again that original goodness that God planted in us, which is our true self. And as we see who we are, we are reminded of whose we are. We are children of God. And once we see that in ourselves, we begin to recognize all the people around us, all the people in this world, are children of God. I have a cousin, Jim Treadwell, uh, and his wife, Karen. They're, they're great examples of this uh, beyond ourselves. Karen, for 25 years, has volunteered and more recently was uh, the director of the Waukesha County Food Pantry offering basic necessities and food to families in need. And hers has been a public-facing role. She's uh, built alliances with other charities, uh, built up partners, raised money, worked with the government, uh, been featured in articles in the local newspaper multiple times on TV. Uh, She is and always has been a leader of goodness. Jim has been more in the background. That entire 25 years, he always pitched in, big project or small, week by week, supporting Karen with whatever she was doing in the food pantry. But it was more quiet. And then more recently, he has been focused on his mother, his aging mother. She lived 50 minutes away from Jim, and his siblings are thousands of miles away, so they can only fly in occasionally. And so it has fallen to him as his mother's needs um, have risen and her uh, capacity to be independent has declined. Jim has been the one to step into the gap and to serve and support his mom. And at times it's been a real significant burden when uh, my, uh, her name is, for me, her name is Aunt Scotty. When Aunt Scuddy went through health health setbacks, it fell to Jim to um, dive in and provide multiple days of continuous support, getting her to the doctor appointments and installing safety equipment and supports inside her home, all with these 50-minute drives back and forth from his home to where his mom lived until the point came where it was time for Aunt Scotty to move into a home that had higher levels of care and assistance. Jim Treadwell is also a leader of goodness. Karen, public, Jim, private. The point is that there are many ways that we can get beyond ourselves. God reveals to us that way that is ours. As we see it, we we experience the gift that comes with giving. And I think that's why givers share certain common attributes of joy and and gratitude. In fact, that's the name of the song for this week, Gratitude. Living a life of gratitude all the way to the end. Elise Vandersteen is the featured violinist. Robert Berry joins on instrumentals. And Kelly Cadillac joins me in harmony. Enjoy. My journey has been winding In weather fair and foul 
I've greeted some with hearty smile And others with a scowl I've been a friend with a giving heart And a fortress made of stone And God, you remember When I kept away alone Thank you God for patience When I was sore and lost For all the times I rejected you My back turned towards the cross Until I broke the fever Of my anger and my pain And flew back to Your waiting arms again My God Someday Miles and miles away When I die I pray I'll greet you with praise Gratitude Gratitude May it be my attitude In my final words to you May I whisper thanks and praise Thank you God for leading me To the love of my life for from that gift soon followed Two children with my wife Thank you God for opening Doors so I could serve But most of all for loving me Beyond what I deserve A red post marks the path that peels towards the bridge back home Someday I'll take that turn And I'll take it all alone I won't know till I get there But I hope it won't be soon I've many miles I want to go And it's only afternoon My God, someday Miles and miles away When I die, I pray I'll greet you with praise Gratitude, gratitude May it be my attitude In my final words to you May I whisper thanks and praise Gratitude, gratitude May it be my attitude And with my final breath May I whisper Thanks and praise Thanks 
Gratitude, gratitude. May it be our attitude today and every day. Well, that's it for today. I hope you'll join us next week for the next episode in this Letters to Rising Leaders podcast series. As I say each week, leader of goodness, go in faith to love and heal the world. 